Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So uh, every day, just about every day, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, somebody asks me, uh, what are my favorite pomades? My top five, if you would. Um, and this is a very difficult question uh, because I own so many and I love so many pomades. Uh, so it's very, very difficult for me to, um, to narrow down what are my top five favorite pomades. <clears throat> Uh, but I do definitely think that there are some that stand out above the rest and are the best ones that you can get. If you're going to start getting serious about collecting and you really, really want to start a solid collection with some nice pomades, these are the ones that I'd recommend. Um, so uh, my rule for this when I was selecting pomades is I only did one pomade from each line. Uh, from each line of pomades... I only chose one, except for a couple exceptions, uh, because there was a uh, there are specific uh, things we'll get into later about that. But for the most part, I kept it to one pomade per line, you know. Because if I could, uh, you know, I'd put the whole O'Dowd's line, and I'd put the whole um, you know Tremolo's line, stuff like that. But um, uh, I just wanted to narrow it down so the best of the line that you could possibly get. So let's start off with classic pomade. So. Uh, most of you know my favorite classic pomade is Royal Crown Pomade. Um, I absolutely love it. It has a great, very nice, sweet lavender scent. Uh, and uh, just all around great stuff. Uh, really light. And if I were to have any classic pomade, you know, over Black and White, Sweet George Brown, um, anything like that, I'd pick uh, Royal Crown Pomade. Um, so, uh, next pomade is uh, from the Tremolos line, uh, which is Guilty Aces. Now, if I were to pick one Tremolo's pomade uh, to stick with, it'd be Guilty Aces. And uh, I like Tremolo's a lot. It was really the uh, line that pushed me into wanting to become serious about collecting, uh, just because I love all the novelty scents. And uh, this one has a very, very nice uh, cologne scent on it. So, fantastic stuff. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, so next one, um, this is one of my exceptions, uh, is I'm going to be moving on to Sheer Revival. Now, I absolutely love Sheer Revival. Um, I've All of his pomades, Zachary West pomades, are just excellent. I absolutely love them. Um, but uh, I have two. <laughs> so I have um, The One Who Knocks and Elm Street. So I have Elm Street in my hair today, and I just tried it out today, and it's freaking awesome. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Um, but definitely, I got a special place in my heart for The One Who Knocks, uh, mostly because I love Breaking Bad, and the scent on it is just amazing. I absolutely love it. It is so unique. Uh, but Elm Street, I just tried it out today, and it is bomb. It is so good. Uh, really, really light, um, but gives you nice, sturdy hold, and really, really shiny, as you can see. So, uh, that is Sheer Revival. So definitely pick yourself up some Sheer Revival pomades. Um, so next one I'll move on to uh, is the Iron Society. So uh, this one is another one that I tried recently. It's been out for a long time, uh, and it's a medium hold. Um, and the scent on it is just excellent. It's like a really spicy cologne. Um, and what I like about this stuff is it feels dry in the hair, uh, but it gives you great slickness and really, really shiny. So um, really, really good balance on it. So really really stellar product I like it a lot and I'm a sucker for glass jar pomades if a pomades in a glass jar I absolutely love it um, so definitely that's the Iron Society uh, so next one I'll move on to is uh, the O'Dowd's line um, definitely I love O'Dowd's um, seriously some of the highest quality pomades on the market like if I could have put the whole line in this list I would but I wanted to stick to one um, per uh, one per uh, so, out of all of them, O'Dowd's Light. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, uh, it's a little more dense than a regular light. It's more of a light medium. Uh, and the scent on it, I get like a, uh, like a peppermint. And it's like a peppermint with an essential oil. And it is dang good. Uh, and, uh, once again, glass jar. And uh, it gives you great slickness. And I can get killer height with this stuff for it being a light pomade um so uh if you're gonna get no doubts pomade oh doubts light definitely uh so next one we'll move on to pumps not dead uh now this is another one that i uh, i picked two pomades uh from this line because i love pumps not dead so much uh but definitely if you're gonna start out with pumps not dead if you want the perfect 
excellent, best medium in the world, Ponce Dead OG. It is so good. Uh, just the density that it has, it feels real dense in the hair. Um, and so you can make stuff that you can normally do with a heavy pomade, but it's only a medium. And the scent, uh, it's like brownish on the inside, and the scent is a um, cologne coconut. And it is so good. I absolutely love it. It is just amazing. Seriously, like if you want the perfect medium, Pumps Not Dead OG. Uh, so next, Pumps Not Dead. Uh, this is another one I made an exception uh, because I put this pomade into the realm of novelty pomade. So my personal favorite novelty pomade, you know, and when I say novelty, I mean kind of wackier scents like soda scents or just something weird, uh, is Pompage. Uh, which is coffee scented and it is so good like I this stuff smells so good I smell it every day I go up into my collection and I smell pompage just because that coffee scent on there is so good oh man it really is amazing so if you're gonna get a novelty scent to pomade pompage uh, so then, next one, I will go on to my favorite water base. Uh, this one, um, definitely, if I'm going to get any water base out there, this is the one that I'll go with, and that's Damien Barber number one. Um, just, uh, it's orthodox to, because uh, it's a gel type, and it definitely hardens up just a bit, but it feels so good in the hair, and it's so smooth, and the scent is amazing. Um, I just... Man, uh, it's, and I know people always turn away from it because it's a bit more pricey, but it is so worth it because the scent on there is so good. It's like a, I get like a raspberry vanilla and it is killer. I absolutely love it. And once again, it's a glass jar. So that's what gets me on it. Uh, and it's really healthy for your hair. So Damien Barber number one. Uh, and then last pomade. Uh, this pomade is the one where uh, if I was to use a pomade for the rest of my life, uh, and it was the only one that I was going to use for the rest of my life, it would be this, and that is Lockhart's Goon Grease. Uh, I know this may sound weird to you guys because I'm a light pomade user, uh, and I love lights. That's my absolute uh, favorite kind of hold from any line is always the light, but Lockhart's Goon Grease, uh, it is just in every shape, in every way, every which way you look at it, every way to Sunday, it's a good pomade. Um, I just love the scent. This one it is the cinnamon sandalwood, and it is so, so, so freaking good. Um, and scoops out like butter, applies like nothing, and gives you awesome shine, um, and gives you a really heavy hold. So it is the, in my opinion, one of the most perfectly balanced pomades in existence. So Lockhart's Goon Grease. I absolutely love it. So, um, with all those pomades, that's if you get all of these and that starts off your collection, you will have an amazing collection. It will be the best way to start off uh, with your collection because all those things are just amazing. Absolutely love them. So, for those of you who wonder what my favorite pomades are, there you go. Um, those are, in my opinion, the best pomades.